Look at this, guys. This this place. Look at this. Look at this. Look at where we are. This is where I'm taking you guys to today. What? Awesome. Manfred Nicoletti. That's the Italian architect who designed this Abuja 2.5 billion skyscraper called the Millennium Tower. For 16 years, the construction of the Million Tower has stalled and completely abandoned. Despite that 35.7 billion naira, that's over 65 million US dollar, has already been spent on the project. Alright, guys, so what really happened? Back in 2005, the project was conceived and commissioned as the National Cultural Center and Millennium Tower by the then President Olusegu Obasanjo. It was made to serve as a tourist attraction and revenue generation hub for the capital city. The construction included the 170 meter tall tower along with an 8 story low rise pyramid shaped cultural center, which will house a luxurious hotel, a museum, an indoor swimming pool, offices, a coffee shop, boutique, and an auditorium. The building also has this underground arcade which can pack over 1,200 cars. From my back here, it's easy for you to quickly see the part of this uh, million tower building. On this side that we are looking at right now, it's supposed to be a kind of a hotel and accommodations as well, so that people will lodge here to quickly, you know, even have a good time at the million tower. But as you can see, the project is abandoned, and unfortunately, nothing is happening there. Although the project was supposed to be completed in seven years at a budget of 69.3 billion naira, which is around $500 million as of 2005, only about 38% of the project was completed with over $35.7 billion already sunk into the project. So we are right here at the Million Tower and the Cultural Center. I'm just going to take you guys inside to see this million tower at a closer look so you guys can see what it's like and also we're going to talk a little bit more about this place and how you guys can probably invest in this abandoned project all right come along so this is the entrance of the place under this place you have the car park so this car park i'm told can take about 1200 cars and the whole place is so colorful the way <laughs> what I'm saying is so colorful because of the yeah, there's blue, there's red over there. Oh, okay, but right now, this place has been given out, right? This one, yes, it has been given out. Anybody can come and pack. Okay, space. Mm, I see. Okay, for PPR. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Awesome. Right now we are going up to check. Check it out. So we've been told that the car park can actually take like 1,200 persons. So organizations can actually, you know, come and take some space here for the car park for their staff if they want to. So up here, it takes like 600, down there it takes like 600. So. So this is like the up, which tastes like 600. The down is where you're coming from, which tastes like also 600 car parks. So already you can see that this place can make a lot of money if the whole project was completed. But the car park alone, you could imagine how much they charge per day 
And okay, let me just ask him how much they charge per day, and you put that together and know how much it is. So I wanted to find out. So like this whole cap space yeah. at the moment, what's the capacity that you people are getting so far? Like fifty percent, sixty percent occupied, it's, or it's fully occupied? It's, you can see it's full. Fully occupied. Every day. Every day. And to Monday, pack Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. And to pack a car is like how much? Four hundred naira. Four hundred naira. Per day. Awesome. Per day. All right. So let's do the math and see how much the car park alone is generating over a period of one year. Give and take, the car park alone is generating over 100 million naira every single year. And if you come to think about it, Abuja doesn't have a lot of public parking space. So this place is really a good strategic point for people to park their cars, which is why the place is always fully packed. Unfortunately, successive government that came to power did not make any budgetary provision for this project, thereby forcing the Salini Nigerian Limited, the Italian firm, handling the construction to suspend and abandon the construction. Well, I can try to understand if the government does not make any budget allocation to complete this project because of probably other priorities they have. But what I really do not understand is why the main owners of this project, that's the Federal Capital Territory Administration and the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, are doing next to nothing in completing this project. At least if there are no budget, you can actively seek out private partnership engagement because the return on investment in this project is definitely going to be very high. So I wonder why you know, nothing is really being done in terms of promoting this place or seeking a partnership because I haven't seen any. Maybe you have seen, but I haven't seen any. So I really have an issue with that. And it's quite unfortunate that, you know, people that we get into hem of affairs either are not passionate about the ministry they are handling or, you know, just doesn't have business acumen. We are going up to where the, the tower is, the Minion Tower is. So you guys can see how massive this place is. And the purpose of doing this video, the purpose of doing this video is to show you guys that you can actually invest in this project and I mean this is a huge income lying here all right guys welcome this is how this whole place look like you can see very massive very very massive at my back you have the tower itself whole place very let me flip this camera and show you guys this this place is, is something uh, what? This is a tower. <laughs> Look at this. Oh boy. This place is really massive. Could you imagine? So we came down from there. Could you imagine how massive this place is? I mean, you can hold a party here. You can hold an event here. You can do all kinds of stuff here place is really massive. In fact, I'm even told that you know, there's a helipad here. Helicopters can actually land in this place if they want to now, you know, come to this tower to have you know, whether a restaurant or I'm going to ask it because up there that place you see, I'm told actually it's supposed to be kind of a restaurant where you can come in, eat and then have the best view of the city. This is beautiful. This place is really beautiful. The tower consists of this straight concrete pillar-like structure varying in different heights. On top of the tower is an observation deck and a revolving panoramic restaurant where visitors will be able to enjoy spectacular view of the city below while they eat. The tower also has this lightning that displays the logo of Nigeria at night and can also be used as an advertisement display. I'm told that the government is open to private partnership to continue and to complete this project which may require an additional 45 billion given the inflation rate today. I believe this place have a great income generating potential. From the revolving restaurant to the conference hall to the luxury hotel, event arena and car park, this place could easily generate over 10 billion naira annually if a smart business person can take advantage of it. Given that some of the wealthiest people in Africa live in Abuja and not to mention the massive international community that lives in this city, 
this place will be one of the busiest and fully booked spots in the city. Yeah, David, you're welcome to the Cultural Center and Millennium Park. Mm. You know, this is an amazing, amazing uh, infrastructure. Mm. I am wowed by the presence of this multi-billion dollar investment. You know, a conglomerate of, you know, events, hotel, you know, um, uh, educational or what you may call a training facility all in one. Now I'm being just left for CAPAC and in redundancy. This is, this is unbelievable. And I believe from uh, the curator, uh, you know, the elder who has carried us around here, government need to show presence here even before the investor could come. The, the, the chief marketer for Nigeria is the president himself. And there's no better multi-billion dollar investment or infrastructure than the center. And so I expect to see Mr. President come inspect this facility. You, you think this is the right place that investors can come in and bring in their money because there, there should any, be a return on investment. What do you think? If there is any, any infrastructure that an investor should take opportunity of, it is this facility, a.k.a. the Cultural Center and Millennium Park. There is no better multi-billion dollar Inf uh, infrastructure that an investor can take advantage of. I mean, return on investment, you have ready-made facilities here for you to use. What the investor is looking for is uh, the technical, uh, you know, designs, the appropriateness, the business relevance, the market for an investment for them to be able to delve into. And I see this as in terms of concept, in terms of design, in terms of business, investability, marketability. This is the end game for any investor in Nigeria and especially Abuja. Those of you in diaspora who, who are looking to come back home to Nigeria to invest, this is one project that you can invest in. So if you need more information, you want to you know, have a partnership, an MOU, what, whatever you have to do to probably be a part of this project, please reach out to us because we want this project to move forward. This project started in 2006 and this is more than 15 years now. Nothing, it has not been completed because it has practically been abandoned due to fund, I believe. But this is something that you can invest in. All of you outside of the country wants to invest in Nigeria to move it forward. Please, this is the investment you should come and be a part of. All right, thank you very much. If you plan to invest into this project, our advice will wait till 2023 because we're having an election coming up and this government time is expiring very soon. And so it will be better for you to work with the new government that will be in place. And I'm very sure they'll be very much willing to work with anybody that wants to invest into the project because, you know, that will be one of their major achievements to have completed that project and, you know, using that to also generate income and employment for a lot of unemployed youths that we have in the city. Most cities around the world are identified and defined by their iconic structure. Hopefully this project when completed will define Abuja landscape and become a major employer of labor for our many unemployed and underemployed youths. What are your thoughts regarding to this video? Comment below, I would like to know. And if you know anyone that can probably invest into this project, why not share the video with them because I'm sure the government is very much open to private partnership as a stand, but just that they are not actively seeking out the partnership themselves. So you can actually reach out to them and partner with them and get this project done and make a lot of money from it. And if you need any help in terms of reaching out to the government side, you can actually reach out to me and I'm sure I'll be able to help you out with that as well. All right, if you like this documentary, also check out this documentary here because I'm sure you will like it as well. And do me a favor by sharing this content and help my channel to grow. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe and become part of this channel. Also check out the channel because there are a lot of content that we have that you might find very, very interesting. All right, thank you for today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one.